people who would happy to read our YouTube channel on the earth. We'd like to suggest the three questions. Number one, in verse five, because of the hope which is laid up for you in the habit of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, what does it mean? And how can we apply it to our life? Question two in verse 10. That you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work, increasing in knowledge of God. What does it mean, and how can you apply it to our lives? In verse 11, <coughs> strengthened with all might, according to His glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy. What does it mean, and how can we apply it to our lives? First of all, you may see map of a policy. Where Paul told of God for two years in coastal mission trips. Elijah put God in Acts chapter 9 to 110. And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some disciples. And this continued for two years, so that all who dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. And then a path cross went 100 miles or 160 kilometers away from Ephesus to Colossae, see above the map, and founded the Church of Colossians. While well, Paul was arrested at the house uh, in Rome, Epaphras may have been co prisoner in Philemon's chapter 1, 23. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, greet you. Upon hearing of a heretic problem, Colossian Church, Corinthians chapter 4, now this I say. That anyone should deceive you with the persuasive words. Paul would have written this letter to Colossians through Timothy. Paul never visited to Colossae or Colossae. Explanation number one. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, an apostle means a person sent out by the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul's apostle authority for Jesus Christ was given by God's will, although he was different from the other twelve apostles. Pull over Acts chapter one twenty six, and they cast their hole, and the uh, lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles, so twelve, 12 apostles. Timothy, our brother. So Paul added the sender this letter, introduced himself to be a letter to make an apostle, not false apostle. Timothy, our brother. Timothy, the delivery of this letter was a false brother in Christ and Paul's spiritual son. Timothy trained spiritually by Paul. Uh, the first Timothy chapter one to, to Timothy, a true son in the faith, grace, mercy.
mercy, peace from God our Father, Jesus Christ our Lord. Verse 2, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Colossae, receivers were the born uh, again Christians in Colossae or Colossae. Grace and peace from God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace coming from God through Jesus Christ. Grace and peace is a post typical greeting as well as grace, mercy, and peace. All comes from God through Jesus Christ, not from any others. Grace to you, peace. Verse 3. We give thanks to God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Thanks to God through Jesus, not through any others, praying always for you. Paul neither visited nor met the saints in Colossae, but pray always for them. Prayer transcends the location because it is in the spirit of um, not physical, allow, um, the physical. Prayer in the spirit, being with this end with all perseverance, supplication for all the saints. First of all, since we heard of your faith in Christ, Jesus and of your love of all the saints. Paul and Timothy heard of their faith and their other love from uh, Epaphras in verse 7. The root of faith is the word of God. The root of love is the spirit because the fruit of the spirit is our love. Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing, by hearing, by the word of God. Galatians chapter 5 and 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, of love, then other evident character, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faith, blessed, and so on. Verse 6. Because of the hope which is laid on for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Your hope is in heaven, not in the earth. Over in the true word of the gospel, by faith in of the gospel, you have the living, incorruptible, or undeparted hope. So, because of your faith upon the you know, gospel, gospel is true word, you know, the truth, the word of the truth, true word. First Peter chapter 1 34, blessed be the God and the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, living hope, and to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. First, we do the for you. That is the living hope in heaven. First Corinthians 15, 32. For I delivered to you, first of all, the yeah, which I also received that Christ died for our sin according to scriptures, and that yeah, he was buried, and that yeah, he rose again the third day according to scriptures. That is the gospel. The gospel true word. Verse 6, that's the question one. Which has it come to? So, therefore, uh, we can apply to our life as uh, we can uh, uh, overcome a uh, lot of uh, difficulty or suffering on the earth uh, because of the living hope in heaven. Uh, verse 6, which is he, uh, who has come to you, as it has also in all the world, and it brings uh, forth a fruit, singular, as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth, as it has also in all the world, then the gospel was carried far beyond the Roman ruling territories, even in India by Thomas. Although transportation or communication was not much 
more develop it than today. Much less developed than today. That is the curing the gospel by the spirit, not by flesh. Unlike the many human programs, unlike the today, many uh, human program, programs, programs, but it's also more than college chapter three. Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Colossians chapter 123. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. Proof, since God today heard it and knew the grace of God in truth, after by grace of God, they were saved to the face in the word of the truth of the gospel. They produce a lot of love, the fruit of the spirit, which is evident in many characteristics, joy, long suffering, peace, and so on. Ephesians chapter 2 a For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Verse 7, as you also run from Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf. Epaphras preached the gospel and taught the word of God to them, which become the church of the Colossians. Church is not, you know, the kind of building intangible, you know, incorruptible soul in the church. So that's the essence. He was a poor communist, now co prisoner in Philip, uh, Philemon chapter 123. Then in the verse 8, who also uh, declared to us your love in the spirit. I like the love in the original language Bible. The fruit of the spirit, agape, original language Bible is the agape love. The fruit of the spirit is evident in many characters. It's, uh, in Colossian 5.28, but the fruit of the spirit is a love of joy, long suffering, kind of goodness, faith, for gentle, suffering, control, against such joy, a law. First Corinthians 13, 47, love suffers along, and is kind, love does not envy, love does not pray this song, is not puffed it down, does not behave rudely, does not seek this song, is not provoking, it's no evil, do not rejoice in an equity or sinful lands, but rejoice in the truth. So rejoice in the truth, truth is the whole council of the entire Bible, build all things in the Bible, believe in all things in the Bible, hope to all things in the Bible, enjoy the whole things in the Bible, in the truth for the Bible. Verse 9, for this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, as of the day when Paul and Timothy heard of the above stated things about them, from Epaphras, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. We keep on praying for all of you uh, who know God's will. God's will is the number one word in the Bible, number two for God's glory, number three things given by God. So like a, a quill uh, or manna gives God, well, God you know, did not give life, you, you couldn't do it, anything. So God gave strength and everything. Understand the it, God's work by the Spirit, and have the wisdom to apply the understood divine will to each life. Now, that is the wisdom. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1 to 7, the fear of the law is the beginning of knowledge. But fool despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 9 10, the fear of the law is the beginning of the wisdom. Beginning
in knowledge. Knowledge is again supreme to what who he understands and to which uh, the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The Holy Spirit of uh, what to, to make it to where they will understand. Psalm 1, 11, and 10. The key of the law is the beginning of all wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. So the Lord in should be uh, glorified. First time, question to get so that you may walk, work worthy of the work and other will live. Uh, fully pleasing him, be fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Your life may be approved by God, as long as your life pleases God fully, what is meaning of God. Number two, second, two elements, second element of God's world in verse 9, uh, glorified, produces the agape law fruit in the every spiritual good work. Because we know God more through the Bible. Only the spiritual doing according to God's will in verse 9 through me has eternal value. Everything else that I do is wash out through fire. Even 130 years of lifetime will not last forever. But spiritual doing, according to God's word, through me shall have an incorruptible word or a true uh, value. First Corinthians chapter uh, 15. If anyone walk in the burn, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved yet, so he has to fire. Thank you. 
things uh, through Christ to who strengthens me. So, Lord, you know, resurrection power, you know. So, all patience, long suffering, joy, through the evident characters of our love, love, the pool of the Spirit, here, verse 8. Then it overflowing the Spirit, John chapter 7, 33. He will believe it in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this is his spoke concerning the Spirit, whom who is believing in him will receive, for the Holy Spirit will not be given, because Jesus will not be glorified. So, after Jesus is the Lord of power, then mean of resurrection power. Verse 12, uh, giving uh, thanks to the Father who has qualified us to the partakers of the inheritance. Of the saints in the light. Twelve, uh, thanks to the Father qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of saints in the light. You give thanks to God because all of us are joint heirs of eternal inheritance with other creatures in the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, not in the darkness of Satan. Romans 8 to 17. If the children and heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may be glorified together. Uh, I think we uh, miss uh, in, uh, the, uh, the first eleven, the last part. Through the evident characters of our love, the proof of spirit, super say, there is all flowing the spirit. John 7, 38, 39. Who believed in me as scripture said, are you ready? Uh, ready? Now, for, uh, first Peter chapter 1 to 8, 1, 8. Whom having not seen, you love, though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy, inexpressible and full of glory. So by faith, uh, we can uh, full of glory in seeing you in heaven. Verse 13, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of his love. Because of God's love, it was his Son, Jesus' death and resurrection. He delivered into eternal kingdom from the power of darkness held by Satan. John 16, for God so loved the world, he gave us his only begotten Son, that we have believed in him, we should not perish, but have blessed God. First Corinthians 15, 21. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of death. He was chapter 9, 15. And for this reason, he is the mediator of a new covenant by means of death. For the redemption of the transgressions on the first covenant, that those who are called may receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Then, last verse 14, in whom we have a redemption to receive the blood, the forgiveness of sin. Jesus' blood was once for all for eternal redemption. The forgiveness sins are effective upon faith alone. Uh, Hebrews chapter 9, 12, not with the blood goes and carries, but with his own blood, he enters the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Pull over Acts chapter 4, 12. Nor is there salvation in any other. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. First John 2, 2. And he himself is a propitiation was sacrificed for our sins, not for ours only, but also for the whole world. So, uh, we uh, covered uh, uh, all the requirements uh, through explanation.